happy hump day beautiful people today's wednesday march the 20th this is my remodel haul from sunday march the 18th and i'm going to jump right in if you guys would hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're new as you come in i'd appreciate it i grabbed another pack of these always discreet some of the upc codes i've already shared sh shown in previous videos so um i won't in the effort to save time because i do value your time and i do appreciate you guys stopping in to my channel and watching my content content and i appreciate your support you can refer back to some of the previous videos if you like or just ask me for a specific upc code if i zip past something these are wax melts this is a eucalyptus and mint we have a lemon and we also have well this one came off it's okay it's a lavender i bet that smells good as well as the as the i got the bins that the wax melts are in as well as the wax melts you guys have seen me get these soft scrub toilet cubes before it's been a while so i'll flip this over now this guys is a good one i ended up getting four of these large gain scent beads this time and which is good because they retail for $16, $15.95 each. So you're talking about that's $64 worth of product right there, and I paid four cents. Got this True Living Ultra fabric softener. We have a 129 ounce bottle here. It's comparable, the label says, to Downy. I did find some random Valentine leftover items. So we know by now anything that's Valentine before until it resets is still a penny. Red dot, like this beaded bolster pillow, still penny in that remodels. I got all these organizing bins. I'm good on totes right now for the minute but i do like these i like to be able to put them on my stainless steel shelves and stand up bottles of barbecue sauce or condiments to keep them from falling i'm gonna sit this out of the way i got these downy beads this is the 13.4 ounce size there's the upc code this is the 14.8 ounce size. Now, as well, brown dot as well as red dot is pinion. This is a laptop stand. You can see that's how it holds your laptop. It's wood. It doesn't have any hinges to adjust. I only got these because I thought it would be great for my grandkids to hold their tablets but i tried a tablet on it before even though it says laptop stand reading is fundamental that um the tablets don't fit they're too small they fall through so we'll probably give those away i just picked some stuff up randomly these scour pads would be good to clean car tires or something this was laying around randomly this was just laying on a shelf I didn't really want a table runner, but it's a penny. I didn't want it to feel left out. This is some alkaline water. It's a peach and blueberry flavor. I've had this before. It has a very light taste to it. it doesn't I can't taste the blueberry and the peach. You know, I'm going to always go after my vinegar. Make sure I keep the rims of those mason jars clean. And for any fermenting and pickling that I might want to do. These are so cute. These look like little laundry washer machines. And they're for holding your pot. So I got a couple. 
and I shared a couple. I'm going to go ahead and keep some under the sink for dishwasher pods for my dishwasher machine. And I already have that other container for laundry pods, but who knows? You never pass up containers. I see Atkins, Dr. Atkins is pinning again. This is what I actually went to the store for. I got some choppers. I got, I traded um, a young lady the insect repellent, the, you know, the repellent plugins for a couple of the kids color by number books. After the toy aisle had been raided, I found a whole pack of these. There was three in a pack. So I was able to get these. These were originally $10 and for my grandson and his buddies. This is a single serve coffee machine and this one is a 12 cup coffee machine. If you guys have ever followed me and you know we are heavy coffee drinkers in this house. This is the UPC off the single coffee maker. Here's the UPC off the 12 cup coffee maker. And it's a digital 12 cup coffee maker, Toastmaster. It's always good to have an extra one on hand. Some areas of the store, you guys, I did not even go to because I have an abundant amount of those items. I don't typically go to what I call the dollar black and yellow section anymore. But that was just laying there. These are always good to have. I don't like to take the wands because I have plenty refills but you never know sometimes those wands crack i only grabbed these two utensils there was a lot hang there was a lot still hanging but i only wanted these so i left the rest for somebody else i picked up a couple toys because i was thinking about easter baskets Pretty much a lot of the toy aisle was packed up. However, I was able to get a lot off the top. Well, I got what I wanted off the top because um, I could just reach up there and get it. To where a lot of people were running around looking for a stool or something. So it paid to be tall on this day. So I grabbed a couple things that I wanted. This is a nice camouflage stainless steel double wall insulated tumbler. These kept falling on the floor. So I never heard of this game before. So I decided to go ahead and scan it. There's a two piece saucepan pot set I mean I'm just happy with the coffee pots this one alone was $30.95 regular price and I think this one was about $24 so I'm going to take a step back because this is what else I was going for rugs so as you can see, I got quite a bit of rugs. And these were all brown dot rugs. They had a lot of these doormats there. But I'm getting kind of limited on space. So as with the previous video, I'm being very selective. And I just added to the underwear. I got about... 15 to 20 packs of underwear. Now, 
this is how I'm going to do this because underneath that shirt are new remodel pennies that no one has found because had they found them, they would have told you all about it. So I'm going to show you if I can get 150 thumbs up on this video, if I can get this video shared, I'll make a separate video, probably a short so that you guys can get right to the point and you can see what goodies I found. Now, you know, I go to a lot of remodels and I've been to hundreds. So I haven't seen that. I wasn't trying to add to my hair care, but some things I went down that aisle and I said, let me go ahead and get it because I wanted to replenish some of the items that I was out of. One of the tops was not on this and a whole bottle spilled in my vehicle. I already showed you guys those Nerf guns or X shot guns. And just so you know, there's over 60 items under that sweatshirt. Not 60 individual, but there's under 60 items. Oops, sorry about that. I'm trying to get the glare off. Okay, here we go. And as bef as I stated before, sometimes I'll get hair dye because they have coupons on them. I didn't stay too long at this remodel because I had to get home. But nonetheless, I still managed to score over $1,400 worth of merchandise for less than five bucks. I'm talking about a money-making deal. I did find a random Christmas penny. And these I had been watching I saw them about five months ago at a store and they were half off, but during the remodel, they never penny. Found a whole bag unopened on the top shelf of these color by numbers sets. I'm going to pass these out to the kids in the neighborhood for Easter some of the girls and I had two more of the frozen but I traded them for the as seen on TV item I just I mean the other penny shopper didn't want anything however I thought it was only fair that she gave me ten dollars worth of merchandise and I give her ten dollars back So you guys, this is my little haul. What do you think? I don't think I did too bad by myself. As I said, I think I showed you guys this. As I said, um, if I can get 100, when I get 150 thumbs up on this video, I will show you guys the new pennies that I found under this t-shirt, under my sweatshirt. But as always, please like, subscribe, and share the video. I appreciate you. Stay safe. Be blessed. And this is Stretch Our Dollars. I'm out.